given the scrutiny and the the basic temperature after the last presidential election, um, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> what, what kind of crap have you had to de- deal with more so than previous years? Well, I would say what I've noticed is certainly change. You know, years ago, the voters would, they want to know, how do I get an absentee ballot? If I wanted to vote early, you know, that you've asked about early voting, where do I go to vote early? How does that work? You know, where's my polling place on election day? Did it move? It's it's still in the same community center church. And they still want to know those things, right? But now they're like, okay, I want to know how the sausage is made. How does this work behind the scenes? You know, what does this really look like? Um, maybe how, how can I get involved? Because we have people that come to work, you know, as the poll workers or the temp workers that part of the reason they want to come is because they want to learn more about the process to see it themselves. And it's a great way to do that because those people end up being our best ambassadors. So they go out there and uh, help educate the public. So when I get questions like that, and believe me, I do a lot. Uh, so listen, this is a great voter education opportunity, right, to, to, to learn more about the process, because it's so much more detailed uh, than I think many people would uh, really realize. And it would take hours for me to go through the level of security and detail from the ballots and chain of custody and dual control that we have and alarm systems and everything else that go into this. So it's not just kind of, you know, hey, you put a few paper ballots in a bag and send a machine out there or whatever. It's not that simple. But you know where you lose people? When you describe details. Yeah. People don't, you know, unless they're right. really passionate about it or interested in that. And there's that audience because, and we, and, and believe me, I, I do this, so I'll talk, like I said, to groups that they really want to get into that level. It's funny because a woman asked me the other day, I was speaking to an audience and she asked me a question. I answered in great detail. And she said in front of the whole group, that was a very boring <laughs> answer. She said, but I appreciate it because what happened was their eyes got uh, their eyes got this big in the audience because I don't know that they understood everything that I said, but what it, what their takeaway was is, wow, there's a whole lot more into that then. But so back to your question, yeah, there's certainly a lot more uh, scrutiny in what we do, a lot more people paying attention and asking questions. But I love it. You know, we hear from the voters that email me, They send me Facebook messages. You're not the only one that does that. Um, I'll have people on the weekends or whatever. They'll ask me questions like random voters. They're like, hey, Ron Turner. They'll find my personal Facebook page. Or I get letters in the mail from you. You think of people writing their congressmen or things or email. No, people write their supervisor of elections. So People uh, still send letters? (laughs) People still send letters. More emails than anything in social media things. But people, sometimes I physically get letters. Sometimes they look like, you know, you kind of wonder who sent them um uh, but anyhow it's all good so the the letter thing is particularly alarming because you know all the stuff that comes in the mail these days like you know people send letters when they want to make a point uh we have that too sometimes i get them sometimes i've had like anonymous like letters (laughs) where i used to you know we get some other interesting ones that uh yeah, you'd, you'd be not, and that's not all the time, but that usually picks up like at election time and things. But email, we do a lot. I mean, I hear from voters every, every day on something, you know. 